Every shop needs a shop truck. That's what I'm building behind me. I didn't just go out and buy one that was already finished. No, 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 no. I bought an $800 clunker. bucket left in a field for dead. Brought it home, realized we got to come up with a plan here. Took everything off of it, went and bought a 2008 Crown Vic. Brought that home because I was like, this is going to be a breeze. <laughs> a breeze. Cut the roof, the front end, everything off of it. And I took my truck body, smushed it, compacted it. You guys are about to witness a journey of me attempting to build my very own shop truck through multiple seasons. Through like winter, spring, summer, and fall. I've shed blood, sweat, and tears. But it has been a journey and you guys are going to see it all in the clips that's coming up because there's over 500 clips so you guys can see the journey, the story of how this truck got to here. But this video is going to get down into the nitty gritty. How did I join the cab? to the firewall and floor pan from the Crown Vic, how did I mount the bed, all that and more. If you guys haven't already, I'll leave the link for my merch in the description. Have t-shirts, hats, hoodies. Let's get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. So we have these little templates made. So where we cut the cab to go over the Crown Vic frame. Now we can close that part of the cab back up. Templates cut out of metal, bent up in the brake. So now we'll go test fit these on the truck and you guys can see, keep the camera rolling. In from right here, obviously I gotta fix some of this cab corner, but we need to get this done first. So bam. Left me extra material. That way I have a surface to weld to. Like I said, we'll get these tacked in, hammer it as we go around so that it fits up nice. And yeah, we'll get all these welded in, then we can be able to set it back on the car frame, and then we can start welding it to the actual body itself. You've got me questioning my position Am I just fiddling out All the areas are patched, everything's primed, we trimmed everything that was hitting so now hopefully the cab will sit down on there and the front will tilt down a tad bit more. Let's...
Not sure where I left off in the last clip, but we've patched the main rust areas inside the cab and we've been trimming away at the firewall, basically trying to get the cab position where it needs to be. And then we can start, I like the height of the bed. I'm just trying to get the cab down just slightly more because right now the cab's tilting slightly up. Got a little bit more to trim in that front area that I just showed you. That should set down a little bit. But yeah, got the level out. The bed is nice and level. So it's just a matter of pulling the cab on and off probably a hundred more times. Then we can get the front clip on and see how it needs to be positioned. And man, I'm just ready to get stuff. I'm ready to start welding stuff together and get out of this mock-up stage. And you can see the clearance. Right in there, I'm gonna trim a little bit of that more. And the same. if you can see that bolt right back there and then that top corner i kind of knew this from the start as far as getting the cab and the bed and the front end level i had this idea that i should build some sort of little jigs a while back i don't know why i didn't me and my son and have have been trying to get it adjusted and put little shims and get everything in the right spot the problem with that is every time we would move one thing, it would get this out of whack. We'd have to readjust this. So then I had the bright idea, hey, you know those jigs I had an idea about? Yeah, well, it'd probably be a good time to go ahead and make those. So I made up just a simple little rough. Nothing pretty about them. Just the height. Going to put four on the cab, two on the front end. So we can just run this in and adjust it. And then I'll use the larger jack stands that have adjustment like these i use these four on the back here what that's going to let us do is level it front to back side to side we can measure it get everything in position and it'll be held there right mm -hmm. son hit a 200 pound pr in the gym today yes sir <laughs> Dad, still trying to lead the pack so my son don't catch me. But he's 145 pounds. Back up. Up. Oh. 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 Push. Drive with your legs. Push. Everything is pretty much positioned where it needs to be. Me and my son just went and got all this hardware and then we're going to start fabricating and welding stuff so we can start bolting stuff down. All that jazz as far as getting this thing to become one with the Crown Vic chassis. If I seem excited, I'm a little bit happy. We got sunshine and good weather for once. But you
look this way. As far as the braces. Alright guys, we're back to work on my 66 F100 shop truck. If this is your first time tuning in, that's a 66 F100 that has been surgically transplanted onto a 08 Crown Vic chassis and it's getting an LS 5.3 motor in it with a cam. Uh, right now, just to give you a little update, the bed is mounted. Obviously, I'll add in some more bracing. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to do wood flooring for the bed or some bead rolled uh, sheet metal maybe a combination of the two but what we're doing right now is I'm gonna graft the cab to what was left of the Crown Vic floor pan and the firewall we'll get on to the firewall once I get that hood off but right now I want to get the two sides done and how I'm gonna graft it is I've made a clean cut here and I have got a clean cut on the edge here I'm gonna use a piece of square tubing to cap this edge off right here just like so and then once once that square tubing is in place then I'm gonna come straight down and tie it into this edge I have 10 gauge sheet metal so I'm not the least bit concerned as far as worried about the structure the square tubing tying into the Crown Vic side of the floor pan to kind of cap that off gives it some meat to weld to then we'll weld the 10 gauge to the square tubing and then tie it into the cab do that on both sides not sure how much this will film because right now i'm kind of battling film every bit of the process or actually get the process done it's me myself and i it's just me myself and i solo ride until i die i ain't got no truck to drive let's go filmed it when my son was making the templates for this right here so he is now a uh, side grinder intermediate certified he did way better than a basic cut had to cut a few uh, things out with a curve but check out transition piece here and there and then the next piece we'll make that in one piece it's got a little curve in it but this will cap off That'll cap off the side and transition here. That transition. Alright, back at it. Another day. Pretty sure I showed you guys this side. Got this capped. Got a brace going across tie into the trans tunnel got a reinforcement piece here same thing on the other side and I might cap this off or at least come with a piece that goes from here and ties down to this because this is a panel on top of this this is where the seat bolted to it's very structural let's go check out the other side so we got this side tied in Obviously, we'll come back later and, you know, do the rust repair, but same thing, square tubing to cap off where the existing Crown Vic floor stopped. And then we got this plate to tie in the truck to the Crown Vic. Got a cap there, brace across here, tied in there, 
and I, like I said, I'll probably do a support from this down here to this. All right, so back at it again, still the same day. Let me give you guys a quick little update. So this side is tacked in. That piece is capped. We got square tubing going across, tying into the trans tunnel all the way to the other side. And I did go back and brace Basically, to give this some support, it's tied in to this. Same way over there. This cab will get capped in the back. This is just some reinforcement. And now we basically got to go to the front and start up there. So here's a little before shot. So, got some cardboard paper, some thinner paper, some tape, get to cracking. Quick update where I'm leaving it off for today. So I got the first piece cut out there. I got the other piece cut out and the third piece cut out. So basically I'll have from about there all the way to about there. And I'll have one more piece for that side that I need to make, one more piece for that side. And then we can go to the, the gap that you see right behind my finger but I don't want to remove this until I make my brackets for the front to give this some support then I move this off and then I'll get those sides I'm making progress I am making progress it's just not as fast as I'd like all right we back at it Dotson is behind us my wife's but we're working on the shop truck quick little update we are right here grafting the firewall of the F100 into the firewall of what used to be the Crown Vic. That we're using 10 gauge, 10 gauge metal to give you an idea how thick it is. This is 18 gauge right here and you see what we're using, the 10 gauge. So yeah, we got two pieces cut out and trimmed in here. And we put some weld through primer on them. The Crown Vic and mold into the F100. See, it's got a little bit of bend to it. But for anybody asking, is that safe to mold the F100 into the Crown Vic? Is that gonna be safe to drive? Well, it's gonna be more beefy uh, it's probably a little bit overkill. 10 gauge. We'll update you again once we get those pieces to the firewall tacked in place. We got that grafted in. This side grafted in. We're about to make a template for right there. And then we're going to make a template for there over. And once we get everything in, we'll go back, finish weld, seam seal everything. All right, new day. We out here again. We have made some brackets that go up under here. Right yonder. One for this side. And these will be what gives our front end support. We're going to go off the front of the frame. tie into the frame and then we'll also run a piece from here to the frame give it a little bit more uh, stiffness we'll do the same thing on the other side so all right we're back to work on the truck got one goal today and that's hopefully to make this thing a roller 
Uh, we left off making some braces and supports for the front end. We come off the front of the frame rails, made some brackets that bolt here. And yeah, a whole lot of stuff is tack welded and supporting. Cause if you guys remember, I made jigs. Uh, hopefully at some point we'll be able to take these little jigs, adjusters out and see how the truck's actually gonna sit. Now that we're getting everything secured, I would love, love, love to have a roller today to be able to move those out and see the whole thing roll. Yeah. Once the motor and transmission go in it, right now it's sitting almost completely level. The front end is up just a tad. So I'm hoping when the engine and transmission go in it, it might have a slight tilt towards the front like a drag hot rod kind of look and yeah if eventually i go airbags we can adjust it to be however we want it but that's in the far future so let's keep cranking out some progress all right so my, my son made the template cut it out of steel we give the top a little bit of a bend this is going to tie into the square tubing and it'll tie into the floor here it's gonna look awesome about to weld her in all right so everything has been fabricated to kind of join or graph my f100 into the existing crown vic firewall and floor pan we've made uh, the frame and brackets that bolt the bed of the truck to the Crown Vic uh, frame. And we have supports for the front end off the front frame rails. And it's also bolted to the cab. Right now the jigs are still in place. So I'm curious, and you guys are gonna see it firsthand, once I jack up and take out these jigs, exactly how much it may cause the suspension to lower. And then whatever stance we get, it's gonna drop it some more once we put the motor and transmission in so yeah y'all realize how exciting that is it might seem like uh, something simple but this this pfft, sound like mike tyson this thing the shop truck has been sitting in the same spot on either jack stands or on the jigs that i just removed for several seasons okay it's seen spring winter fall summer so it's an exciting moment but let's see Yes, sir. I hope you enjoyed seeing the journey. I mean, I had like four or five different haircuts, dyed my hair. You saw my uh, son and my daughter and me do weightlifting PRs. I mean, you've seen just a journey through this build process. That's what builds are. They are journeys. Uh, don't get caught up in the YouTube hype and the motor trend hype where you see everything come together smooth and it looks like it happened overnight. When you work and you have responsibilities, a full-time job, this builds take time. And that's exactly what this took, time. But I'm just gonna come out and say it. I don't wanna build something that's just ordinary. You see a lot of shop trucks with patina, Lord, riding down the street. I wanna build something kinda extreme. Now, before I show you guys these images, I know this might not be for everybody, but I think it's sick. I wanna put my own touches on it. I want something when I'm driving down the street, it's like, dang, son. <laughs> Woo, that's crazy. I don't want to just build something that's run of the mill. You know what I'm saying? I want to build something unique, something crazy. And this is crazy enough. It's my first body swap, my first shop truck. Why not knock it out of the park? So I'm going to show you guys the design that I want to kind of base the theme around 
and you guys drop in the comments what you think about it. If two people say build it, I'm freaking building it. I showed it to my son and I told my son, I was like, if you say dad should build this, we're freaking building it. I showed him the picture, he was like, you ought to build this. <laughs> so, uh, granted it's not going to get built tomorrow, but final, long term, that's what I'd like to see the truck look like. I'm curious you guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think about this design. Obviously, I would tweak it up some, put my own touches on it. Look for some 240Z videos coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out the merch. Thanks for the support. See you guys in the next one. Dusty Mac is signing out. Thanks for the support.